named out there, Captain Mango. Wow, this is some forest, Annie. The Amazon rainforest is the largest rainforest in the world, Ben. There are plants and animals that don't live anywhere else on the Earth, but here. Monkeys? Yes. Special monkeys? No. Aww. Don't be sad, Mango. You can be the guest special monkey, okay? Annie, something in that bush doesn't sound very happy. Let's just back away slowly, okay, guys? Holy cow! What's that? That's a giant ant eater! Hello! <laughs> Ah, her name is Charo. You can hear her? Good dog ears. Charo can't speak any louder because... She has such a tiny mouth. <laughs> yeah, and Charo says she's really hungry. <laughs> but you're an anteater. And there are trillions of ants in the Amazon. Charo doesn't want to eat ants anymore because of Chaz. Who's Chaz? That's Chaz. He's an ant. He's Charo's best friend. Oof. Charo says Chaz says hello. Wow, he's so tiny, I can't hear him, but Charo can. Ant eaters have better hearing and a better sense of smell than dogs, Ben. Wow, you're like a super dog with a tiny mouth. I'm Annie, and this is Ben and Mango. And you don't have to worry, Charo. We're going to find you something to eat, something that isn't Chaz. Mango will look up in the trees while we look for food down here. I smell something good underground, Annie. That's a wild yam. And it's too big for Charo's mouth. Mm, but not too big for Chaz. Mango, that coconut's bigger than the yam. How can Charo eat that? Coconut milk is a great drink, Mango. But we still have to find her something to eat. Hey, Annie! I found some tiny berries! Those are akai berries, Ben. They grow wild in the Amazon. They're very good for you. They're packed with calcium and vitamin A for strong bones and healthy eyes. Hey, Charo, try these. Uh, I think we've got a very bad problem. No time for bad jokes, Ben. Something's wrong. Oh my gosh, ant eaters don't have teeth. You can't chew. You have to spit them out. Oh, she's rolling towards the river. We have to catch her. The Amazon River is filled with piranhas. What are piranhas? Man-eating fish. Oh, it's a good thing she's an anteater and not a man. Oh, no. We're not going to reach her in time. <laughs> Wow! Chaz sure is strong! Ants can lift stuff that's 50 times heavier than they are. I think Chaz is even stronger than that. He's like a super ant. Let me see if that's okay to eat, Mango. Oh no! That's a South American hot pepper! Duck! I mean... Eater! Mango! Coconut! Got it! Hollow weed! 
Nice move, Chaz. Drink it up, Taro. <laughs> That was close! Mama. Mango, it's a passion fruit! This is perfect! Passion fruit is sweet, soft, goopy, and not hot! Here, Charo! Mm. <laughs> wow! She really, really likes it! <laughs> yeah, what Charo said, Chaz. Thanks. <laughs> Chaz is sending down a year's supply. <laughs> Goodbye, Charo. Glad we could find you some good food. <laughs> Oh, Charo and Chaz have a gift for us. So we always remember that. An Amazon orchid. It's so beautiful. Thank you so much. Stop, Annie. What's wrong, Ben? Chaz is still holding on to the bottom. Uh, oops, sorry, Chaz. Phew. That was almost an ant plant accident. Oh, Ben, that joke. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? Carnations, lilies, roses, orchids, sunflowers. Welcome to the Bangkok Flower Market, guys. <laughs> Dogs have trouble seeing color, Annie. But the smell is great. Uh, but I think it makes me want to... Sneeze! The Bangkok Flower Market is open 24 hours a day, every day of the year. It's the biggest flower market in Thailand. Ben, let's get some flowers. A cat! <laughs> Looks like Mango has a new friend. Hi, kitty. Ah, oh, Annie, this is Lily, and she wants to know if you'll give her a home. Can we? If we were at home, she could live with us. But we're traveling. Mango thinks someone in the flower market might give her a home. Well, she's a really sweet kitty. Let's take her with us and see. Shoot, shoot, go away. What beautiful flowers. Thank you. Would you like a bouquet? The ones on your head look nice. I'm Annie, this is Ben and Mango, and our new friend, Lily. I am Rune. It is good to meet you, but I can't sell you these. The mice have been nibbling on the stalks and petals. Oh, is that a problem here? Yes, the mice hide in the flowers and eat the stems and the petals and... Wow! Lily! She must not destroy any flowers. We have enough problems with the mice. I can't smell Lily Mango. All I can smell is flowers. And, and, ah! Uh, we must get your cat out of here. But she's not my cat. We're looking for a home for her. She cannot live here. I'll help you find her. Okay, guys, it's a big market, so spread out and look for Lily. Oof. Come on, Ruin. We'll look this way. 
Ah yes, the orchids, an excellent choice. It's no good. My nose is no good here. <gasps> Lily! No! Come back! Smell like vanilla ice cream. Of course, these are vanilla orchids. We get vanilla flavor from their seed pods. Ben, are you okay? I sneezed myself across the market. Hey, do I smell vanilla ice cream? Oof. Poor Ben. Do you want to wait outside so you won't sneeze? Good, good idea, Annie. Good luck with Lily. Have you seen Mango? He's in the roses. <laughs> what is that horrible sound? Mango! There you are. You've been a very bad kitty. I accept your apology, but you still have to go. Are you okay, Mango? <coughs> hey, Annie! What's going on in there? What do you mean, Ben? We got Lily. Yeah, but I've been watching mice run out of the flower market since I got out here. Here, hold Lily. I need to check something. I'll bet this has something to do with you. Aha! I am right. The flowers are perfect. There are no more mice here. Lily chased all the mice out of the market. Oh, Lily says she's from a family of mousers. That's what they do. They chase mice. Lily says that's why she has such large ears and a long tail. I have changed my mind. Lily will be my cat and live here. All the merchants will take care of her. You can spend your days chasing mice, drinking milk, and getting pet. Okay? Mango <laughs> <laughs> likes that too. Now he wants to be a cat. <laughs> <laughs> I am so glad you brought me Lily. So I have this for you. A Lily for a Lily. Thank you, Rune. Come, Lily. You have mice to chase. Meow, meow. Wow. I'm glad everything turned out okay. It could have been a catastrophe. Get it? A catastrophe? Oh, Ben, that joke. <laughs> What is it, Captain Mango? Whales? Sharks? A bottle with a message inside. Can you get it, Ben? Got it! I've always wanted to find a bottle with a message in it. It's so mysterious. Oh my gosh, it's not a message. It's a treasure map! Hey, check it out! Aren't those the islands on the map? They sure are! Take us to the treasure island, Captain Mango! <laughs> we start with that oak tree. It's right here on the map. According to the map, we're almost to the end of the trail. We're, we're here. here! Yay, we're here! Here I am. Captain John? Annie, Ben, Mango, 
What are you doing here? Are you having fun now that you're not a ghost anymore? Hi. I'm a treasure hunter now. I sail the seven seas looking for buried pirate treasure. Wow! What treasures have you found? Well, actually, this is my first treasure hunt. I found half of a treasure map in a bottle. So did we! Well, we've got two pieces of a map, but they don't match up. That's because the middle of the map is missing. <laughs> I think Mango found something important. Somebody carved writing into the post. This was written by Captain Long Tom Chapman. He was a famous pirate who sailed the seas hundreds of years ago. Every captain knows of him. After years of sailing the oceans, I, Captain Long Tom Chapman, have buried my last and most precious treasure here on this island. Oh boy, I get to dig and nobody's going to get upset with me digging up their flowers. I don't think there's any treasure here, Captain John. Then we'll try digging behind the post. Good question. Mango wants to know how we're going to get out of this hole. I didn't really think about that. I got too excited about finding treasure. I can stand on your shoulders, Captain. Ben can get on my shoulders, and Mango can climb out. Right, just step up there, Annie. Ben, climb on up. You should clip those toenails, Ben. Sorry, Captain John. It's your turn, Mango. <laughs> <laughs> Get the rope in my duffel bag. <laughs> now tie one end of the rope around the post and throw the other end of the rope down to us so we can climb out. I'll go up first and help you two out. Made it. Hang on there. I've got you. Thanks, Captain John. Be sure dug a deep hole. Hi, honey. I don't think there's any treasure here. Maybe somebody else dug it up. We dogs do that all the time with bones we bury. It's a dog thing. Oh my goodness! Mango found the missing center of the map! And the X marks the top of that hill. The treasure isn't here. It's there! A real pirate chest! This could be a fortune in gold and diamonds. <laughs> or a bunch of pictures and books. Not much of a treasure. That's where you're wrong, men. This is the best of all treasures. Here's Captain Chapman riding the Loch Ness Monster. I'd heard they were friends. Wow, it looks like he was a good dancer too. One of the best by the looks of that painting. Wow! He went everywhere and did everything! He was with the mermaids in Atlantis! We've been there! Must have been hard painting that underwater. <laughs> this must be a picture of Captain Chapman and his crew. This is a fantastic treasure! Even better than gold and diamonds! because it's everything he really loved. We can't take this. This is no one's treasure but Captain Chapman's. Maybe someday his family will come looking for it. That's who this treasure belongs to. Well, we didn't get rich today, Annie. But we did find a pirate's treasure. 
You take them up, honey. A souvenir of today. Goodbye, Captain John. Hope we see you again soon. Hey, Annie, do you know why pirates are pirates? I shouldn't ask, but no, Ben. Why are pirates pirates? I don't know. They just are. Oh, Ben, bad joke. Right? <laughs>